Welcome to Rock Your Block. I'm your host, Trudy Richardson, and with me is my co-host, Edward Richardson. Joining us on today's segment of 495 is health and fitness blogger, Jada Richardson. She will share with our viewers her uh, view on how to, uh, what she feels about her perspective on exercise. Since our show is about helping our viewers to live the life they were meant to live by becoming the persons they were meant to be, having a fit body and eating good food is important to a long, healthy lifestyle. So let's begin the show. Welcome, Jada. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Good. Uh, I know you've been into uh, exercise all your life since the age of nine. Uh, you've played tons of sports, but let's start with your uh, college career. How has exercise and uh, healthy uh, eating impacted you since your college years? Definitely when I was playing college basketball, it helped me. It kind of shaped the things that I should and shouldn't eat in preparations for my games. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't always the I wasn't always eating the best food in terms of afterwards but it definitely helped me to um, figure out what I needed to eat and what my body needed for practices and games mm -hmm. so now you graduated from college basketball playing at the uh, NCAA level is is past and you're still at it uh, why I just feel like that there's <clears throat> There was kind of, after doing it for so long, there was kind of a, a hole missing. And with that, I tried to fill, well, if I'm not playing competitive, competitively, what else can I do? And what else can I dedicate myself towards uh, working besides my job? And so continuing on in your uh, exercise and routine, I know recently you started a blog and um, with my New Year's resolution, which was, uh, uh, healthy eating and exercise, I engaged you into becoming my trainer. And will you tell the viewers how you started me or, or your thought process in beginning a uh, regimen for me to train? Um, in terms of the uh, eating aspect, we kind of looked at the, a lot of the foods that you did like. And I think it's helpful for people to figure out what they like and what counts as healthy to kind of give them a guideline as to how they should go about eating their breakfast, their lunch, and their dinner, and planning for those meals every week. Um, in terms of exercising, you've been exercising on and off for several years now, so we tried, well, at least I tried to give you a, a plan that would help you start slowly, and then each week it becomes more and more intense. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of building your muscle and building your stamina. Mm -hmm. So here I am, fat old guy, and I'm trying to get myself in shape. What's, the, what's one of the first things that you would recommend that I do uh, to, to, to get on the track to, to better health for, for a better life? I think a lot of people, and especially myself in the beginning, find that we eat out a lot. And in terms of you know whether it's fast food or restaurants, the best way to know what's going in your food is if you're cooking, and I know a lot of people don't like to cook just because they think that there's a lot of uh, work involved in terms of cutting and chopping and frying and all of those things, but I think the best way to get started with eating healthy is to get in the kitchen and, and start yourselves out with cooking simple meals. You know, simple meals could be a steak with a side of broccoli, and then from there, some people find that they enjoy cooking, and that's when they want to build their more complex meals. And one, one of the things that you uh, stated earlier is identifying the foods that you like. And, and since I've started my uh, diet regimen, I've identified the foods and flavors that I like. And with those foods and flavors, I've been able to develop and create healthy meals. Of course, I'm one of those people that likes to cook. But I know the uh, pretty much I'm eating what people would call 80% paleo. And I know there is a paleo site where you can go on and you can get tons of recipes. And within the paleo diet, I, I find that the paleo diet really is a simple diet because am I wrong that it's mainly protein, uh, fruits, and vegetables, and lots of water? Is that? Yes, it's a very simple diet, and a lot of people have come out with cookbooks and recipes to kind of make it more fun for those people that 
at, they get tired of just eating steak with broccoli or steak with or chicken with uh, asparagus. So it is a very simple diet and I find that eating paleo um, helps people stay away from those processed sugars that are in our, our white breads, that are in our pastries, that are in our donuts. So mm -hmm. I find it very helpful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna start eating right. What, what would be something that I could combine with eating right? So what kind of exercises with someone who's been fairly sedentary? I mean, we, we have a, a very audience. We've got people who are at all different levels of you know, eating and exercise, but everybody wants to be healthy, enjoy you know, a good quality of life. Mm -hmm. But someone who's fairly sedentary or somebody who's fairly busy, like for yourself, how, what do you do to, to kind of stay trim and fit like you are right now? What, what could somebody like me do uh, to get at least started at least to do that? I think when people think about exercising, they see the gym, they see uh, in their minds people lifting weights or they see people running on the treadmill, but it really depends on what you liked to do or what you still love to do in terms of exercising. Exercising can be walking, exercising can be swimming, um, exercising can be jumping rope. It, it really varies. So people starting out, I feel like they need to find what they like to do. I personally, I've been lifting weights since I was 16, so that's something I like to do. And so I'm gonna continue with that. But I know a lot of people that love swimming, so that's something that they do. They go and they swim laps. It's just a personal choice. And I know in my uh, exercise routine that you've developed for me, uh, this is going into my, I believe, sixth week. In the first three weeks, you started me in endurance. Can you explain why you started me with endurance? Mm -hmm. Um, there's two workouts in terms of there's an endurance type workout and a strength type workout and so during those three weeks when you were doing endurance workouts you were lifting with lighter weights and you were doing more reps so you were training your muscles to get stamina so that when you do switch to strength you are used to lifting the weights and you're not when you go to strength now you're able to lift heavier things because your body's used to that routine of lifting five sets of a 10 pound dumbbell doing your bar curls so you do that for three weeks you get your muscles used to lifting those weights and doing those exercises so that it can get it can now build build muscle mm -hmm. now i know you've worked with some different people what are some of the things that people say once they've been into this a little bit how do they feel emotionally how do they feel physically what are what are some of the the benefits you you feel like putting together maybe a uh, an outline program for for somebody like Mrs. Richardson, what, what, what do you do? What goes into that? Definitely sitting and talking with people and <clears throat> seeing what do they like. Well, a big part for me is I love peppers, I love garlic, I love onions. So a lot of my meals, <laughs> a lot of my meals have to deal with that. And I found so many different ways to make it with an Asian cuisine or make it uh, tastes like Italian so just them finding foods that they really enjoy and a lot of people when they have started they talk about how much better they feel just from the inside and how they don't feel as heavy and as sluggish as they do when they are eating those foods that contain the processed sugars mm -hmm. and um, the fast foods and stuff. So I know uh, we're gonna have, soon we're gonna have to take a short break but you started a blog and could you tell our uh, audience the uh, so the, the, the name of the blog, okay. how they can reach you. Um, my blog is ricajj12.com and it's pr uh, three aspects of it. There's a holistic side when it's looking at um, how you train your mind. There's a healthy side of how to, what to eat and how to train your body and then there's a fitness side and just different things that people can do to help themselves not feel as stressed mentally. Mm -hmm. um, different foods that people can eat and then different exercises that people can do. Mm -hmm. So how often per week do you recommend someone involve <laughs> themselves in some type of uh, you know, exercise? And, and uh, do, you, do you go right straight to a regimented diet or do you work your way in? So it's a two part question. Uh, well, for the first question, I think three to four times a week is substantial in order for you to, uh, your body to get used to and to depend on working out. I think if you work out less than four times a week, then by the time the next week comes, 
your body will forget. We lose so much, we lose, you know, our muscle um, mass and things so quickly. So you wanna make sure that you're working out three to four times a week so that you're gaining routine. And I always uh, tell people when they want to start eating healthy to just kind of go on a binge, just to kind of get it all out of their system. What so a that binge, what do you mean? Eat whatever you want, and just kind of like the last supper. <laughs> um, so that when they go to uh, start their diet, they're not wondering, well, what if I would have had that last French fry? What, are, what if I would have drank that last mm, I'm getting soda? hungry already. <laughs> <laughs> so when they start, they have, they have it all. Their system, they say, okay, I'm gonna do this for this week. And then I know that Sunday comes or Monday comes and I'm, it's cut all out. It's the diet or the, your change in your lifestyle is not gonna happen if you don't do, your, do it only in strict and, and make it very strict. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm in a bad William Shatner movie where I want to like, <laughs> must have well, French I, fries. <laughs> yeah. I, found, I found that very true because I know, noticed the first thing you did, you started me on the paleo and, and it was very strict. I mean, you removed all of flour and rice and potatoes and sugar and you know any kind of fast food i mean i was very limited to what i eat ate at that time but what i found out was at the end of those 30 days i really had weaned myself off of the taste of um, sugar and potatoes and bread i mean even now uh I'm eating, I would, say, I would say I'm eating probably about during the week, I have one cheat day and 90% of paleo that I don't even think about eating potatoes or, or bread or sandwiches or things that would uh, put the, um, I guess put the weight back on, back on me. So um, I think if you take that mindset, like you said, having your last supper and uh, saying, okay, this is it, and I'm gonna start a whole new lifestyle, and you can find taste and flavors to um, substitute for the uh, sugary sweet things. Mm -hmm. But again, uh, we're getting ready to have to take a break. Would you tell the uh, viewers again your blog site? Mm -hmm. It's richaj12.com, it's R-I-C-H-A-J-12.com. Okay, well stay tuned, we have to take a short station break but when we return, Jada will explain how to do some simple exercises to start your exercise regimen. Diet and exercise are never easy. Then again, neither is dying. Type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and stroke kill nearly a million people a year. You can stop it starting right now. It's your life. Listen to your doctor. Eat better, get moving. Well, welcome back. You're watching Rock Your Block in today's segment of 495 Metro. Our special guest, Jada Richardson, is sharing her insight on how to enjoy healthy eating and learning how to exercise properly. Here we go. Okay, so the this can be your first starting routine and you can do this for 10 minutes and it's going to be four rounds with a 30 second rest and so the first thing that Trudy is going to do is she's going to grab the five pound weights and she's stand with her shoulder width apart her feet shoulder width apart and she's going to do a squat and then when she does the squat she's also going to curl so you're working your hamstrings um, your quads and your biceps so she's going to do 10 of those go ahead so Make sure when you're doing that, that you're squeezing your abs, you're dropping your butt back like you're sitting in a chair. So she's gonna do 10 of those and then we're gonna jump to the next one. So the breathing, is that, a, are she's breathing in or out or Breathing while? in on her way down and exhaling on her way up. Okay. It's important that she keeps her abs tight so that it's having her mind focus on working or using the quads and the hamstrings. She's not putting any tension on her back and in her neck as she's doing them. And these are only five pound weights, right? Yes, and so, so if you feel like you can do a little bit heavier or you need to do a little lighter, then okay. that's fine. Okay, that's then, 10. Okay, so the next thing she's gonna do is she's gonna do a shoulder pr press with a backwards lunge. And so you're gonna alternate, you're still gonna count to 10 for right now, but when you get, um, when you, as you go further, you can do 10 on each side, but she's just gonna count to 10. So she's gonna start with her arms up, 
and she's going to drop back and do a lunge, and as she's doing her lunge, she's going to press up, press up with her shoulders. So I'm going to press my hands up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go. Yep. She's going to drop back a little bit lower. Drop, drop your legs back. There you go. Again, she's going to be inhaling and exhaling on her way up, holding her abs nice and tight. Take your time. Take your time. Now, if a person doesn't have weights, could they do the same thing by just raising their hands Absolutely. up and doing these lunges? Yes. Okay. And once again, the breathing, how, part, how important is that? How should one be breathing? She should be inhaling on her way down and exhaling on her way up. Okay. So when you're lunging, you're going to be pressing up on her, heel, on her heels. She, all right. So the next thing she's going to do is a sumo squat, and she's going to raise the weight. So she's going to start with her feet kind of outward. And when she squats, she's still going to press up on her back heels. And as she goes down, she's going to drop, rise the weight up so that she's working her back now and the inside of her um, quads. She's going to do 10 of those. Put these here? Yes. Drop down. Drop down into a squat. And yes. So squat back. Again, keeping her abs tight. She should be dropping her, her butt like she's sitting in a chair. Her back should be straight. Now, before we go to the next set of exercises, I have a question I'd like to ask you. And once again, uh, it has to do with the, uh, we, we were looking at three different exercises. Mm -hmm. How many reps? Of, of each exercise should a person do? Is that individualized or do you have a recommendation? Well, if you're just starting, I would start out with 10 because it's going to be four different exercises okay. and you're going to do this continual, t continually for 10 minutes. Okay, so, so, it's, so you're seeing how many rounds you can get through in the 10 minutes. Okay, so, so that was my other question. How much rest should a person take in between these different exercises? She's going to do the four ones, the, these four straight. So she's got one more and then they rest for 30 seconds and then okay. they jump right back at it. Okay. So the next thing she's going to do is 10 burpees, but we're just going to do five for today. Ooh, now this is a challenge for me. So I may or may not get Five. So this burpees incorporates your whole body. So she's going to squat, drop down into a push-up, push herself back up, and then jump, explode as high as she can. So that is... So she's going to drop and do a squat. Keep your hands up. Uh-uh. Come back up. Come back up. So when... Come back up. So when you drop, you're going to drop and do a squat, and okay. then you're going to go down and do a push-up. Okay. Drop. With your hands up. Okay. Now, Go down and do a push up. Push up. Now, come up with your feet and explode and touch the try it like you're touching the ceiling. Yep, she's gonna go down and do that again. One more time. So, squat. And this is really good to make this your last exercise so that you're pushing your body and working all your muscles. So, once she does 10 of those, then she'll give yourself 30 seconds and then she'll go back to the squat. Uh, and you call this a what again? A burpee. A burpee, huh? Mm -hmm. Why do you call it a burpee? It's just the name of the exercise. Really? Mm-hmm. <sighs> One more. So squat. Mm -hmm. The important thing, especially if you're exercising by yourself, is to stay motivated throughout your whole routine. Would it a lot help of to have a, a, like a drill sergeant voice in the background as you're doing this? Like, you know, well, maybe, but I like just listening to music. <laughs> That's a little more tame. <laughs> well, having worked out with you, these I have been avoiding. <laughs> there are a couple of exercises I have been avoiding that when we go to the gym, I find myself using the machine. And this one right here is a lot, but exactly the burpees work what again? All parts of your body. So you're dropping down and into the squat, so you're working out your legs. Then you're doing a push-up, so you're working your chest and your triceps. Then when you come back up and explode, again, you're working your legs. Mm -hmm. So an alternative, if you find yourself not being able to do the burpees, then you could do jump rope for the 30, you can jump rope for 30 seconds. seconds. That would be an we, alternative. We probably should say, because of our uh, audience, we probably should strongly suggest that before you um, engage in any kind of dietary change or exercise change, 
uh, to your, your daily regimen, you should probably check with the physician or check with the dietitian to make sure that uh, you, know, you, you can do these things because everyone is different and uh, depending on where you are and how sedentary you, you, you are, you can't just haul off and go out and start doing this stuff. You can do some light things and work your way up, but you really do need to uh, seek that kind of you know, uh, uh, counsel uh, so that you can get yourself in the shape and not hurt yourself in it inadvertently. So we really should say that. We're, we're talking about things that work for us and things that we've already done. I already went to the cardiologist and found out that, that I can do Both of us. You know, different things. So everybody really, that's a, a really cautionary tale in all of this. So uh, exercise is good, eating right is good, but you have to you know, do things the right way. Is that, is that fair to say, Jay? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. And, and uh, I know probably we're running close to our time, but the way you have designed my exercise program is that, uh, let me see, Two days a week, I believe, I'm working my biceps, my triceps. Mm -hmm. Three days a week, I'm working shoulders and back. Two days. Two days. Mm -hmm. And then alternate days, I work uh, abs and the uh, cardio. Yes. Now, right, we quickly explain to them why you have me doing the cardio where I am like on the treadmill, walking mm -hmm. like at a 3.2, that's for me. So interval interval uh, cardio. Interval cardio, It's yes. good for to get your heart rate up to, cool, to, to bring it back down. It's, you'll burn more calories that way rather than running at a steady pace. Mm -hmm. So that's why a lot of people recommend, and I think it's better for you to um, run or jog for a certain amount of time. So you are running and jogging for a minute, and then you're walking for two minutes. But as you build yourself up, yourself up then it's gonna, we're gonna eventually go to reversal where you're running for two minutes and getting your heart rate, rate up and then you're gonna walk or jog, a slight jog for one minute. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you had designed this for me and then when I told you earlier this week that I was running at the same pace that I was walking and you were saying, well, that's not what it's setting out to accomplish. So right. the reason why you had me go from like a 3.2 to walk and then a 5 to run mm -hmm. is because you were trying to accelerate my uh, Your heart, heart rate. rate. Now when I'm jogging just even for that short amount of time because right now I'm at 15 minutes jog between jogging and walking mm -hmm. does that over does it overall work my whole body or? Yes, cardio works your whole body because you're pumping your arms you're moving your feet to do to run, mm -hmm. so you should feel a workout in your entire body. Mm -hmm. And as I said, I've been doing this for six weeks, mm -hmm. so is um, it feasible for me to believe by October with the diet, with the continuing exercise, and I go to the gym five days a week, mm -hmm. and I'm there for anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour, that by October I should pretty much either be seeing some like drastic results from where I am now or I should be at my destination of where I want to be. You should definitely see some drastic results. I mean the whole, I don't like using the word diet, but the, what you're eating um, is basically 80 percent of what, how people lose weight. It's just through the exercise that they're actually building their muscle and they're toning it up. Mm -hmm. So if you stick to your diet and you stick to your exercise, yes, you should see some of mm -hmm. really good results. Mm -hmm. Now here at 495 Metro we're going to have links back to Jada's blog and uh, we're definitely going to uh, have some information there where you can contact her if you would like her to, to uh, you know to, to ask her some questions about her, her regimen. Um, you know some other things that we've done uh, recently invested in a juicer and I can't give you any brand names, but I will tell you this: that uh, part of the nutrition, uh, the part, the nutritional part of this is very, very important. Um, there are other things that you can invest in that will help to extract the nutrients out of the foods that you eat, so that your body can absorb the nutrients better, and that will also help you to to be healthier. And uh, the important thing is just to get out there and try. Just get out there and, and, and do it, even if it's just taking a walk. You know, we've heard the, the president's uh, wife say, you know, we just got to move, right? We just got to move around to be healthier, to keep your mind sharp, to keep your body sharp, so you can become the person that you were meant to be and do the things that you were meant to do. So, Jada, we have just a few minutes left. Any special words of encouragement or words of wisdom for our audience today? 
think that once you start with a plan, you should stick to it and just at least give yourself the time because it does take time to see the results happen before, you know, two weeks. This isn't working. I'm going to give up. So, mm -hmm. so you don't want to do that, no, right? No, not at all. May, and it's, it comes down to, uh, I started this back in January when we did our first show mm -hmm. on uh, New Year's resolutions, and this was one of them. And one of the things that I think that has continued me to go forth is that making yourself a priority and making this a priority just like you uh, schedule in time to go to the grocery store or go to the movies, make this a part of your daily schedule and stick to it. Mm -hmm. Well, Jada, it's been our pleasure to share with you, uh, share our audience with you and, and your insights. And if anyone has additional questions, they can contact you at uh, your blog or they can contact you at 495metro.com. We'll have a link to your blog. And thank you for tuning in. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, for tuning in. And, and, and remember, today is a good day to start living the life you were meant to live so you can be the person you were meant to be. Until next time, we'll just say goodbye.